here we have a little uh, remote control uh, winch operating device thing okay um, really don't know how that's going to show up on the uh, camera but you got the battery wires just there and four wires coming off of the motor You've got a little plug on there I presume it's meant for uh, a winch out there somewhere that's got that uh, on it already I'm going to put my own ones on because I've already got the little connections here I've uh, got a nice hot soldering iron got a couple of uh, little tubes of shrink wrap just going to cut these down and put some over there like that I'm going to do, I'm going to put, uh, I'm going to put one end of the connections on the winch, obviously, and then the other end can go uh, to the winch motor, so the winch controlling device here, and then I've got to put a, a battery connector on it, which will be that one there. Okay, update. So we have our winch. Don't know if it works. Connected to the winch controller because it's wireless. This is a, a spare motor wire, and this wire here goes to my little zippy battery just there. So, does it work? We'll plug it in, listen for sizzling noises. Nope, no sizzling noises, good. And we take our winch control. Put that, put that where everybody can see it, here we go. And with a press of this button, we will see whether it works or not. Here we go. <laughs> Excellent. There we go. One working winch. Okay, so fairly sure that this is a thick bit of bit of wire basically. If I put it through the hole there, which Unless the camera is having a really good day, it says antenna. I'll put that through there, like that. Bend it round itself, kind of like that. A little bit, a bit of solder on there, just to make it stick. I'm going to go with that. Okay, so going, going by my past uh, with um, history with these trucks, I will end up in the water, and that doesn't look as though it's waterproof to me. So I think it's time for a bit of. You can't see that. Plasti dip. Basically, it's a. Uh, a liquid um, plastic and um, you plonk things like this in it you can do receivers as well and things like that and uh, it, well nine times out of ten I've had quite a good successor success rate with it um, and it makes your stuff waterproof so I think I will dip this in a bit of plastic dip there is other stuff that you can use which is probably better than this but the difference is that I have this here and I don't have to wait for Mr Postman to bring it so let's go and get this sorted. just out of thought maybe I need to 
soldered the wires to the board instead of just on the end there. It's rather a thick thing to do, I know. Because it's not going to make a very good contact, is it? So that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to solder that wire onto the antenna board. Okay, so plastic dip basically is uh, plastic um, liquid plastic at the moment. Okay, and what you do, you get your electronics that you want to be plastic dipped, and you go like this. Now be aware that this will void any warranty because it's now coated in plastic. Okay. So and just let the the, uh, the remnants drip off. Just like that. And then just to be on the safe side you do it again. There we go. And you leave this to dry for 24 hours at least. Okay. Now this bit at the end here, this is the bit that I need to be uh, coated because this is the circuit boards so I will be standing here or sitting here for 10 minutes or so holding this you don't have to watch this okay so a couple of days later the plastic dip is dry and just I've lightly zip tied it in there so keep it out of the way. Got a battery on the back here to power it. It's all connected up. These wires could be a bit longer, I'll probably do those because it's not very good because it's too close to the uh, spur gear and all that. So I'll probably lengthen those wires. But let's have a look. working winch do those wires and that'll be okay sat there yeah. hopefully he says so thanks for watching wheels i'll see i'll see you next time cheers bye